Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready for the big matchup today between Gibraltar and Malta. Malta won their fixture against Scotland 4 to 1. Gibraltar lost its fixture against Switzerland with 7 0. But both teams are equally in the running for qualifying for the main qualifying round of the UEFA Futsal Euro 2026. This preliminary round will see two teams going through and then playing in a playoff format against an opponent from the main group. Malta has exerted a lot of talent, but Gibraltar showed at least what concerns uh, the way they treated the ball some more quality than their Scottish counterpart. Let's look at the squads again. Real quickly, Malta starts today with Clint Mifsud in goal, number one. Then we have Andre Ciancio with the number two. We have Cel Alve Celino Alves with the number three. Michael Borg with number four. Number five is Andre Kakia. Number six, Giancarlo Samut. Number seven, Matthew Attard. Number nine is Mark Zamet, the captain. Number 10, Mike Conda Silva. Number 11, Andy Mannion. Number 12, Ryan McMarmara, assistant goalkeeper. Number 13, Cleveland Portelli. Number 14, Marwan Tilizi. And number 15, Steven Camilleri. Gibraltar masking today as home team is playing with Mark Peter Moxham in goal. Then we see James Castle with the number two. Number three is Stefan Ramirez. Number four, Nicholas Mark Castle. Number five, Ethan Perez. Number six, Carl Poggio. Number seven, Naufal El Andalusi, the captain. Number eight, Tyson Ruiz. Number nine, JP Taluga. Number 10, Ashley Rodriguez. Number 11, Paul Gomez. And let's see both teams walking in. Both national teams. Malta playing in black, Gibraltar playing in red. We're introduction of Team Malta. Mipsa Chacho, Celino Alves, Michael Borg, Andre Kacha. This is the team of Malta. Let's see. Gibraltar playing with Moxart. Castle, Ramirez. Andalusi. Let's get to our referees. Kamil Chetlin, main referee tonight. Assisted by Gabor Kovac, Telmen Udrak, and Daniel Matkovic is our timekeeper tonight. Now, let's be quiet for the national anthem to both countries.
the national anthem of Malta. Gibraltar at the foot of the peninsula, the Iberian Peninsula, celebrating their national anthem, British Spanish heritage in Gibraltar. And today we'll see also Malta with a new captain. So Andy Manjon takes over from Zemit. Zemit, who captained the team yesterday, Mark Zemit. Here we can see him, Manjon, Andy Manjon going over. Very fair shake hands between all the teams. Malta today with its staff, Gabriel Dobre, head coach, Carlos Sikulna, assistant coach, Andrea Caruana, physio, Dr. Franklin Abella, Administrator Ian Mikhalif and fitness coach Cedric Sierbas. On the other side, we have Malta with their head coach Jose Carlos Gil Prieto, assistant coach Dylan Glynn, physio Jaron Sevilla, Dr. Omar Ortiz Cuba. Goalkeeper coach Daniel Vink and kit manager Abdullah El Yetefi. So these are now the captains for Gibraltar number seven, Naufal El Andalusi, and for Malta today, Andy Manjon taking over from Mark Zamet, who captained the side yesterday. Shake hands underway. It's done with the refereeing trio in the middle. Referee Chetlin and his colleagues. Let's remind ourselves of both teams. We have Gibraltar and Malta. Malta playing with Mifsud, Chancho, Celino Alves, Michael Borg, Andre Kacha, Giancarlo Samut, Matthew Atterd, Mark Zamet, not captain today. Sorry for that misinformation. Michael Da Silva, Andy Manjon, he's the captain. Ryan Marmara, Cleveland Portelli, and Marwan Telizi, together with Stephen Camilleri. Gibraltar with Mark Peter Moxon, James Castle, Stefan Ramirez, Nicolas Mark Castle, Ethan Perez, Carl Poggio, Naufal El Andalusi, Tyson Ruiz, JP Taluga, Ashley Rodriguez, Paul Gomez, Sean Pereira, Lee Mifsud, and Alan Parker. We're on the way. Malta is starting with
Mifsud in goal, Lee Mifsud. No, Mifsud gave it right away. Uh, went out, Sean Pereira is now in goal. Flying goalkeeper, I guess. Mifsud just started the game. And then we have Tyson Ruiz. No, oh, that's, oh, sorry. Both are named Mifsud, that's why I was confused. Clint Mifsud gave away his place to uh, Ryan Murmara. That's the right way around. Maikon starting with Zamet, with Telizi, and with Celino Alves. On the other side, we have El Andalusi on the way with Tyson Ruiz, with Nick Castle and with Stefan Ramirez in goal today, the young Lee Mifsud, replacing a very experienced Mark Peter Moxham, Mifsud who played the final few minutes yesterday against Switzerland. I'll be readjusting the clock. Also, we have uh, our foul clock. Don't forget about it. And Malta has committed the first foul in the game. So we have that, the clock. I'll be constantly rearranging as we could not hook it up to the stadium system. But you will be knowing what's going on. First strike, number 10, Maikon Da Silva, looking to get the young goalkeeper 17 years of age. And that's the first strike. Zamet may not be captain tonight, but he scores for his country. Malta is leading. Thanks to Mark Zamet. Mark Zamet scores the first one. So Mark Zamet makes it 1 0 for Malta. 8.32. 18.32 to go. My call looks for Zamet again, but Mifsud doesn't worry too much about this one. Eighteen twenty-four. Too long this ball from Ramirez, Stefan Ramirez, who we have now in picture. Well done, but gets another foul, his way. Malta with a second foul, but Gibraltar couldn't take advantage of it. The free kick, poorly given away. Telizi Zamet. But slight confusion between both teammates. Ramirez plays with Tyson Ruiz. Ruiz takes on speed. Would have actually gotten Salino Alves out of the way, but couldn't carry on with the play. The ball was too advanced. Well, my knowledge of Maltese um, futsal is very limited, so I can't tell you if it's practic that Zamit and Manjon share the captaincy or what led to Malta changing the captain from yesterday's match to today. However, this should not affect the performance on the field as Zamit is on it again. Didn't fancy his left foot 
so he played over to Tulisi, who had scored the first goal yesterday against Scotland. But Tulisi didn't get to that ball. Malta, who had Clint Mipsud start, just to switch out the goalkeepers. And on the other side, the other Mipsud makes a great save, Lee Mipsud. Mipsud. Let's look at it again. Very well played by Malta. And Clint Mipsud. On it. Zamet. Looking for the ball. Maikon. Well defended by Nick Castle. Castle starting again this game. He who had a lot of minutes in the last game, last fixture against Switzerland. Was hailed for his defensive prowess in that fixture. Now first switch up, we see Alan Parker back at it. Parker found Pitaluga. Ball belongs to the Maltese. Ah, no, sorry, Gibraltar. It's kind of difficult. Three of the four teams in this uh, tournament have the exact same color scheme. Malta, Switzerland and Gibraltar. So at times you'd be looking at a kit that actually looks like the other team's kit. Ashley Rodriguez finds Alan Parker back to Rodriguez. Rodriguez on the left wing. Plays with Perez. Ethan Perez. Rodriguez. Well done. That slight little chip for Jay Pitaluga. Very clever futsaling by, by Gibraltar. But still without a success. Gibraltar still chasing its first goal in this tournament. Very well defended by Marmara. Ryan Marmara, 35 years of age. Also, a very experienced goalkeeper. On the other side, the young Lee Mipsud, 17 years old, played yesterday three and a half minutes, and is now starting for his country. Mike Con gets the free kick. Alan Parker didn't get away with a little bit of rough play. First foul <coughs> counted also for Gibraltar. You can see the fouls above the name of the countries. While I readjust the clock, 15.03 to go. Celio Alves, Celino Alves, takes aim, finds his number 10, and it's 2-0 for Malta, Mike on! Mike on makes it 2-0, Celino Alves, over to Maikon, who finds the near post away from Mifsud. Malda leading 0-2, getting another foul, another free kick. Maikon da Silva with the number 10. The Brazilian rooted player 
in this multi squat as we are just above 14 minutes and 50 seconds to play here. Another free kick. El Andalusi. No, Atord. Sorry. Atord taking aim, giving it over to Michael Borg, who scored a delightful penalty yesterday. Michael Borg. Borg carrying the ball. Michael Borg. Borg. Some quick one, one, two attempt by Andre Chancho and Samut. But they didn't connect. Attard takes it for the kick in. As we all know, futsal has no throw wins. Oh, Bork tries to make it. Wally doesn't get to it. Mifsud, Lee Mifsud threw it out very quickly. Alan Parker going after it. But Attard controls the situation. Very well played by Gibraltar. Borg. Oh, well defended by Castle. It wasn't Castle, it was Perez, Ethan Perez who defended well. Finding Alan Parker, Parker through the middle. Ashley Rodriguez, Perez, back to Rodriguez. Peter Luga, Rodriguez waiting far too long and getting in harm's way. Borg. But Parker clears it off for his teammates. 13 minutes and 18 seconds to go in this first half. Malta carrying on where they stopped against Scotland. Borg, Michael Borg. Atard, Samut, scored a lovely goal yesterday, Michael Samut, you can find it on our Instagram page, in our stories, a lovely bicicletta as we call it, flew through the skies here in Gumlingen. Small town just outside of Bern, capital of Switzerland. Well defended again by Perez, Ethan Perez. Ashley Rodriguez. Perez, well done. The ball stays with the black clothed the team. Oh, and almost we had the 3 0. Andre Chancho. <laughs> Andre Chancho attempting it over the left wing.
very energetic defending by Nick Castle. As we get under the 12th minute mark again, Andre Chancho looking to strike the ball into the net behind Lee Mifsud. But the young goalkeeper keeps lucky. Borg couldn't quite find the net. Aimed too far left. Well done by Samut, defending his territory. Tyson Ruiz, Mifsud looking for his striker. Fidel Andalusi had to play at the back. Nick Castle, Castle to ends up losing the ball and Paul Gomez using his physicality running Andre Chancho just to the ground. Here we could see it. There are a couple inches, I guess about 15 difference between Paul Gomez and Andre Chancho. Mifsud, well thrown. Too fast for our camera crew. But this game is more level than we think. Even though Malta has clearly an advantage. We keep seeing... that Gibraltar wants to participate in the game more than they did against Switzerland. Of course, the opponent might be less difficult and also their, their fate is now much more tight to this fixture than it was against the hosts. Michael Borg finds Andre Chancho. Attard and Chancho. Attard is sneaking into the slot, but well caught by Perez, Ethan Perez. El Andalusi then goes to the ground because Michael Borg had everything under control. Michael Borg moonlighting as Michael Knight. Dressed in the slick black, he just needs a car that talks, a little kit of his own. And for once, it gets loud in this auditorium. The Gibraltar staff is looking for a corner kick, which they get. 9.58 to go. Paul Gomez taking aim. Gomez, but well defended by Celino Alves, who hasn't seen as much game time as he did yesterday, at least not yet. Gibraltar trying to strike with Ruiz, Tyson Ruiz, but now we have Maicon looking for his second of the night. Five o'clock Swiss and Maltese time. Also Gibraltar time. It's only our Scottish friends that ride a different time zone. Well played again by Alandalusi, but 
Marwan Tilizi was aware of what his opponent was looking for. Selino Alves Tilizi, good one two play. Lipset. Lee Lipset. The youngest in the squad by a mile. Born in 2005. Sean Pereira was born in 2004. He's the only one near him. The next youngest was born in 1998. And those seven years make a big difference at that age. El Andalusi finds his colleague, finds number 11, Sean Paul. Sean Pereira, uh, no, sorry, Paul Gomez. Now I just mixed two names next to each other. El Andalusi very well played, but neither Paul Gomez nor Tyson Ruiz got near that ball. Good scanning by El Andalusi, looking over his shoulder, seeing the free spaces that he tore up. But then none of his colleagues walked into that free space. Futsal is a game of spaces. It's actually like people Tetris. Nick Castle swiping it away, finding Ryan Marmara. Maikon tries it and lifts it. Extends out his right leg like an ice hockey goalkeeper. And stops that ball with his calf muscles. 8.05 to go. That ball is out. Again, well defended by Ruiz. Oof. Hitting his own captain in the face now. For those who are not familiar, futsal balls are one size smaller but much, much heavier. So getting hit in the face is no joke. The UEFA even provides you with a action manual for concussions, if necessary. Ashley Rodriguez looking for his teammate, but Celino Alves goes in between and tries the strike set up by Maicon. Very well set up. Maicon and Alves striking it out of the hip. Not taking too long, but Lee Mipsud showing his ability to stop the balls real quick. Maicon was Winding up his volley, but Nick Castle runs in between, and now Celino Alves has his goal. <coughs> 3 0 for Malta with Celino Alves. At it, playmaker, fast kick in, and Alves. Just hammers it, nails it under the crossbar. Mifsud couldn't see this one. His colleagues were in the way. <laughs> Celino Alves scores. No, 
long ball. And Malta marching into its next dominant phase in a game like they did yesterday against Scotland. That game finished 4-1. Today, they would be able to elevate the lead if they want to. But Gibraltar should be looking to make some damage control. Not let it run away from them. Gibraltar, who have lost against Switzerland 7-0 yesterday. If they keep this up, today will be the match marking their out. Could be. They could still remain in the tournament if Scotland wins against Switzerland then. But it will be tough. Switzerland against Scotland later on today at 8. We'll see Malta again then on Saturday at 6. Don't forget that the starting times change from yesterday and today to Saturday. The early game will be played at 3 instead of 5 and the late game at 6 instead of 8. Very well defended by Stefan Ramirez. Time out for Malta. And we'll take a short break as well and be back in a few seconds. Timeout over. Five minutes and 42 seconds to go. Three fouls committed by Gibraltar. Two by Malta. We got a corner kick on the way. Atwood, but Castle goes in between. James Castle, very tall defender. Also, that a curiosity, not only three countries with red and white in their flags and their main color schemes, also three countries with English as the main language. And given that the Swiss national team has a lot of different languages spoken as well, they end up being also almost an English-speaking country. Ah, Castle, why didn't he believe in it? With his long legs, he could have surely gotten to that ball. He would have been isolated. Catches Borg on the wrong foot, but then leaves it for Marmera to clean it up. Little lack of faith from the young multi, uh, Gibraltar player, James Castle, born in 97, 26 years of age. The other Castle, born in 94, 20, uh, 30 years of age now. A 
Ashley Rodriguez. Very experienced. Ashley Rodriguez, 34 years of age. 4.17 to go in this first half. Zamet. Zamet playing it well. Finds Cacho. Andre Cacho is through, but then has no control over the shot. It slips over his laces and goes far right of Mifsud's net. Three fifty two to go. If you want to keep up to date with this tournament, please subscribe to us here on YouTube. We'll be showing the remainder of the games, all of them, and you can rewatch yesterday's games, today's games, and Saturday's games all the time. Dangerous free kick ahead, but Malta is taking a timeout. Uh, Gibraltar, I'm sorry, to plan how to execute this one.
We'll see Mike on again. Celino Alves. Mike on looking for that far post. A good strike by the Brazilian Maltese player. Taking it on his right foot just enough away from Poggio and from Castle. But Mifsud didn't have to intervene. Final 28 minutes. A second in this first half. Another half to go. Mal Gibraltar will have to increase its offensive prowess. The execution is lacking a little bit so far. Man John, well played by Nick Castle. Four seconds and 90 points to go. 4.9 seconds. A last strike. Two seconds to go, another corner. Two seconds to go, Manjun tries it, but El Andalusi blocks and we go into the break. Malta leads 3-0, thanks to goals by Celino Alves, by Maicon, and Mark Zamet, who opened up the score. We'll be right back with the second half. We'll see if Gibraltar can curb up their offensive play. Otherwise, Malta's been looking at maybe an early qualification for the next round in the Futsal Euro qualification. We'll be back in a few minutes for you.
We're back for the second half. Malta leading 3-0. Gibraltar looking to do some damage control. In best case, even take on a threat for Malta. It's tough for Gibraltar today. Malta's been playing very well, having most of the control over the game. Trying to find a good match plan at the moment. Zamit, Telizi, Maikon and Celino Alves. Goalkeeper Mermara is looking <coughs> to keep his clean sheet. On the other end, Gibraltar comes back with Lee Mifsud in goal. And we're looking at their starting four. Who will be Nick Castle with Stefan Ramirez, JP Taluga, and Tyson Ruiz. Zemit getting ready at the center circle. Easy having a chat with Kamil Chetlin, but we are getting ready now. Zemit puts us on the way. Alves, but very well defended by Nick Castle. Looking for Peter Luga, but Zemit wins the duel. Maikon, very well by the Tyson Ruiz, but still, the ball finds the net. Malta leading 4-0. It's Marwan Tilizi. Marwan Tilizi makes it 4-0 Ruiz defends but Celino Alves was straight on it and Tilizi just walks straight into the penalty box and puts it behind Mifsud Tilizi 30 seconds in Very well defended now by Murmara, Ryan Murmara. Keeping his net clean for the moment, for the time being. 1922, go Nick Castle! Forcing Murmara to throw himself to his left, defending the ball. Gibraltar now <coughs> building some danger as we had already seen against Switzerland the second half the more aggressive half by Gibraltar ah very well that path by Nick Castle well run and also well stroke stricken the ball but Marmara was on his feet didn't let it go through 1855 with Salino Alves Gibraltar have committed their first foul so far in this tournament we never got close to the fifth foul very well played but still easy goes in between his opponent on the ball. 
Marwan Telizi. Again, this time it's Zamet who doesn't let the ball go through. Corner kick for Tyson Ruiz. Ruiz tries it himself. Short corner, but Mormera is there. And then again a strike by Gibraltar, but blocked by Telizi. Eighteen thirty-six to go. Pizzaluga is blocked away by Maicon. Well blocked by Maicon. Castle, Nick Castle, trying to go at his own, but Celino Alves. Disarms him, takes away the ball. Zamet, Telizi. Alves finds Maicon, but Castle defends very well. Puts his foot down, doesn't let Maicon even try to execute this ball with his outside of the right foot. Trying the three vela as the Portuguese would call it. Very great header by Zamet. But the problem is, he stroke also Nick Castle. Castle, let's have a look at it again. Nicely chipped, Zamet heads it perfectly and Castle's just a little late for the challenge and ends up hitting the shoulder of his opponent. But Castle, Seems to be doing all right. Needs to go out for precaution. Andre Kacha is taking over for him. Not Kacha, sorry. Perez, of course, Ethan Perez. Peter Luga, faster than the floor he fell on. It was Ruiz, not Peter Luga. Oh, Maicon tries it again with the outside of his foot. Maicon. Oh, very well played. And that's it. 5-0, Mark Zamet at it again, and Gibraltar will think of a word that rhymes with Zamet's last name for the fifth goal against them. The 13th in this Thank tournament. Mark Zamet. Portelli coming for his first appearance of the night. Portelli just put it way too far ahead of himself. The ball couldn't control it in the end. Perez, well played with Ramirez. Samut, Portelli, told to slow it down, finds Camilleri. Caccia, Portelli. Camilleri, Samut, Kacha, 
Samut distributes the ball very nicely. Giancarlo Samut. Finds on the right wing Portelli. <coughs> Andre Caccia, Samut. Camilleri, Samut, Gibraltar, defending well, Portelli wanted to force them to break up their box, the diamond in which they defend, but no way to get past Ramirez, Portelli blocked by Perez, and Samut keeps at it. Little more than 15 minutes to go. In this game, Portelli, well defended by Perez. Perez goes through, finds his man, but Marmara closes it down. Very well done by Marmara. Perez looking for Pizzaluga. Finds him on the far post, a little bit out of the angle for a good strike. And Marmera takes advantage of that, cleans it up. And now from the back, Ashley Rodriguez forcing Marmera to take up his fists and contain the ball. Murmera, great intervention by the Maltese goalkeeper. Now on the other end. No danger for Lee Mifsud. Ashley Rodriguez. Ethan Perez. But JP Taluga couldn't control the ball. Kacha. It's those little mistakes handling the ball. Those passes that come a little too slow or maybe a little too fast that get you in the end. All of them are good players. But in the sum of things, those little mistakes add up to a lot of problems for the Gibraltarian players who have now seen 12 goals against are yet to strike, are yet to score. Camilleri, Portelli, but that one was a little too far for him. played Ashley Rodriguez was the aim of that ball but it didn't reach him Alan Parker Perez tries it the heavy way Portelli just throws his body at it Perez Little misunderstanding, but Kacha is not fast enough to get past Rodriguez. Alan Parker, Ashley Rodriguez, but Samut shaking off the towering man next to him. I wonder how tall James Castle really is the man with the number two. Looking from here, he must be at least two meters. Towering over every other player. Yes. 
Samut finds Kaccia. Andre Kaccia. Portelli, Camilleri. Camilleri takes it on his left foot, but Mifsud is <coughs> secure. The 18 year old in between the posts for Gibraltar. Malta looking for another chance. Building up their play. A lot of patience. Malta, who are headed to their second win of the tournament, which means on Saturday it could be a great final, big finalissima at six here against Switzerland. This, of course, only if Switzerland wins against Scotland. Gibraltar will be crossing their fingers, hoping Scotland can put one past the home nation, leaving them inside the tournament, leaving them to hope. But the Swiss, of course, have other ideas. Matthew Attard, Michael Borg, Andre Caccio. Ciancio, Andre Ciancio finds Mangioni. Not enough accuracy in most of those passes. Alan Parker, James Castle. Castle oh, just puts it off target. That would have been the chance for James Castle. Actually a little lucky with the rebound, takes it with his back of his head, then puts it on his right foot. Had the goalkeeper on the ground but couldn't put it past him. Actually caught him on the wrong foot as well. So Marmara would have been beaten, but James Castle couldn't find the way of the net. Matthew Attard. Janko. Borg. Manjon. And that ball is whistled. Gibraltar's way. 5-0, one goal more for Malta than yesterday. James Castle couldn't believe the whistle gets a yellow card. Second foul against his team. As we have just above over 11 minutes to go here. Malta scoring one more than yesterday so far. Not conce conceding one less. All over good for them. Chancho slips. <laughs> On this wooden board floor, specially installed today or yesterday for this tournament. Castle, Nick Castle saves it for his teammates. A 
little more than 10 minutes to go. Michael Borg tries it, but way off target. Michael Borg. Yesterday's penalty still lingering for Borg's recollection. You can go and watch that again on yesterday's match. Borg hitting it just centimeters next to Benjamin O'Hanlon, Scotland goalkeeper's head, making it 4-0 at the time. Michael Borg again. And Nick Castle. Chancho finds Michael Borg. Attard. Man John. Very well that intervention by Pereira. The young Sean Pereira. Oh, and now this is the save of the evening. Marmara. Forced to show us how he can fly after Nick Castle tries it just from the middle line. What a strike by the experienced Nick Castle. However, Ryan Marmara was ready. And now Marmara gives up his place. Mifsud comes into the game. Clint Mifsud, the number one. So now we have the curiosity, two Mifsuds on opposite teams. Clint defending the goal for Malta and Lee defending the colors of Gibraltar. An experienced man, Clint Mifsud, 34 years of age. On the other side, we have the very young 18-year-old Lee Mifsud. I suppose no relation there. Zamit was successful twice tonight. We're still to see a hat-trick in this tournament. Victor Silverio and Evangelos Marco Yanakis for Switzerland came close to it with two, score, two goals. Zemet now with two goals as well. He has still some time to go though. Eight minute 43 for Zemet to score his third. He was looking for his man, Paul Gomez, but didn't find them. Nick Castle tries it again out of the distance. Castle's had enough. Will be looking to strike from the distance as he sees his teammates and himself can't manage to penetrate the opponent's half. El Andalusi picks it up from the air looking for Sean Pereira, but Mark Zamet goes in between the youngster and the ball. Pereira. Perez. Ah, well thought out by Alan Dalusi, but Pereira didn't come through, and now the strike by Paul Gomez. Directly into the hands of Clint Mifsud. Salino Alves just hits it out of play. While we readjust the clock. 7.47 to go.
744, three fouls for Gibraltar, one for Malta. Malta leading 5-0. Ruiz tried to separate himself and then Zamet, who just catches a little bit of his opponent's shin, not allowing him to score his third. Zamet again, but this time way above target. Let's have a rewatch at that chance before Zamet takes it on his left foot. And Perez just catches a little bit of it, deflecting it out of danger for Lee Mifsud. 7.20 to go. A lot of little breaks here in this game. Little moments, the ball is out of play a lot. Oh, Mifsud! Lee Mifsud keeps it, 5-0. And now there's a three on one chance, but that one is just too far off the path of Carl Poggio. Ah, Carpoggio, that one would have been it. That would have been the first goal by Malta. And on the other hand, we have Mifsud, uh, Zamet, with his hat trick, Mark Zamet. Just after Clint Mifsud secured it for his team, Mark Zamet hammers it past the young goalkeeper into the net. They miss their chance, then they lose the duels on the left side. And Zemit gets a pass cross field. Ruiz, Ruiz trying it on his own. Poggio was waiting for the pass. Carl Poggio. Zemit with, his fir with the first hat trick of the tournament. 6.33 to go. No danger whatsoever. Put this kick in. Clint Mifsud puts it back into play. Mark Zamet has all the confidence a man can have tonight. Marwan Tilizi leaves it for Celino Alves. Tilizi. Oh, very well played by Selino Alves. Telizi just sneaking his way up into front, and then there's a goal by Kahn! Makes his second of the night. Maicon da Silva, the man, man with the number 10. Maicon da Silva makes it 7 0 for his team. And due to timeout, we can now just take time and enjoy this goal. What a strike by Maicon. Gets it past Perez and past Mifsud. That's seven for Malta. Leaves them with 10 goal plus in the goal difference. 11 scored, one against so far. And Gibraltar is looking at minus 14. So even if Scotland manages to keep Switzerland at a harm's length tonight, it will be very tough for, Mal for Gibraltar to still dream of the next round of qualification. Of course, all games still need to be played. Scotland still has it in their own hands, well, in their hands to help Gibraltar out. And we're seeing a first in this tournament as well, a flying goalkeeper. Malta is removing Lee Mifsud from play. Ashley Rodriguez will be playing with the goalkeeper jersey, trying to do some damage control for Malta. Well, the first attempt didn't work as well. 
Zamet is taking on the ball. Celino Alves. Mifsud stays in goal so far. Alves with the ball. Now, of course, Malta can just let the ball run in their own circles. Doesn't have to worry too much. What a lovely chip! But Maikon doesn't get it past Lee Mifsud. Mifsud throws it out to Ramirez. Ramirez Mifsud could now go off, but he hesitated too long. Mifsud would have needed to do it faster. It was just out of your picture. Mifsud hesitated and didn't change with Ashley Rodriguez. His teammates ended up losing the ball then before Rodriguez could come on as the flying goalkeeper. Five sixteen. We'll have to clean up. Oh, okay. Misunderstanding between the referee and the staff wanting to clean up a puddle. Five for weights to go. Rodriguez stays in play. El Andalusi, oh, mistake, and Maicon makes it three for himself. Eight for his team. 8-0 for Malta, Maicon da Silva. Strikes again with some help by El Andalusi and Nick Castle. It's just a slight little slip by Castle here, as you see. Zemit goes in between and Maicon makes it 8-0. The man on the registry gets it wrong today, now for the first time. It was a strike by Maikon and not by Zamet. 8-0. Castle, Nick Castle. Again too short, Maikon gets in between again. So the flying goalkeeper at the moment seems to be doing more harm than good. But what does Malta have to lose at this point? They might as well. Ramirez, Nick Castle, finds Kaluja. Yeah, uh, I said it right. <laughs> Maicon. Rodriguez, Ashley Rodriguez, winding himself away from danger, and they get the foul. Malta with its second foul, four minutes and 17 to go. El Andalusi finds Nick Castle. Ramirez, Stefan Ramirez. El Andalusi aims to give it to Ashley Rodriguez, but Clint Mifsud shuts that down, goes in between. Very well played by Castle. Ramirez. El Andalusi. Castle waiting on the left floor. No, it's Pitaluja. I'm sorry for that. Jay Pitaluja, but still. No real danger from Gibraltar. Samut, Camilleri. Rodriguez doesn't go off, stays in. Kacha, Andre Kacha, giving it up to Camilleri. Portelli, Portelli carrying the ball. Portelli just strikes it off. While Malta are looking for a timeout, which they are getting now. Timeout for Malta. 
as Lee Mifsud get got back into his goal. Portelli had stricken the ball, and the referees saw that Stefan Ramirez had a little touch on it, deflected it just wide. I guess. that Ashley Rodriguez didn't mind too much that that ball got reflect, deflected. So Rodriguez would have had to show us a quick dive into the right corner, if not. 210 seconds to go in this game. Malta appears to be winning it. 8-0, the question is, what will be the final score? Malta goes at it with Andre Caccio, with Giancarlo Samut, with Portelli and Camilleri. Gibraltar, Mifsud in goal. El Andalusi, Pitaluga, Ramirez and Nick Castle. Portelli, Portelli. Slight little trick. Just a little hook to get the ball away from his opponent, but was blocked. Mifsud stays between the posts. Portelli, Portelli, finding Samut. Camilleri, Samut makes his way up the left wing. Kacha has some space and then Portelli. Out of angle, tries it anyhow. 2.46 to play. Mifsud will put it back in game. And now run off, no, hesitates. Lee Mifsud, the youngster in goal. Seems not to be too acquainted with the system of switching goalkeepers. Having the, third, uh, the flying goalkeeper come on. Slight hesitation each time he should be running off the field. Well done. Well blocked. Samut. Samut. Portelli. Ah. Nicely thought out by Samut, but Portelli didn't catch on. 2.07 to go, 127 seconds. Lee Mifsa throws it out. Ashley Rodriguez comes back as they kick it in. Castle. Gomez. But Rodriguez couldn't keep it in. One fifty-seven to go. Stefan Ramirez, Nick Castle. Ramirez loses the ball, but Portelli couldn't stay on his feet. Oh, Portelli at it again. Nick Castle. Maybe showing a little tiredness. Playing two days in a row is very tough for those players. But that's the way it is on the highest level. Cacho clearing it. And again, don't get the false image. There are some spectators here. They just... Don't sit over there. Oof, trying for the empty net, Portelli. But Mifsud looking for it. No danger here. Paul Gomez. Gomez tries to go through. Kacha catches it, but then it's too far off Camilleri's foot. 119 to go.
Mifsud heading out again. Rodriguez coming in. Cleared by Cacho. Sixty nine seconds remaining. Paul Gomez. Gomez finding Ramirez, oh, just outside of the net. Stefan Ramirez gets the ball on his left foot. Mifsud was on the ground, but he couldn't put it inside the rectangle. Samut, Portelli. Camilleri, Samut. Portelli. Camilleri. Kacha. Kacha again. Mifsud. Stops it. Portelli. Taking aim again. Samut, the last attack of the game. Samut just waits it out. Malta win this game. 8-0. Very well done by the Maltese. Zamit with a hat-trick. Maikon with a hat-trick. Marwan and Celino with the remaining goals. Malta clearly the superior sides tonight, making it 8 0 Gibraltar. Showed some improvement against the match, toward, uh, compared with the match against Switzerland, but in the end, it was not enough. So Gibraltar now will have to hope that Scotland can stun Switzerland and then they will have to make up a goal difference of 15 goals to dream of still qualifying. So it's really tough for Gibraltar. Malta can now aim for a big final against Switzerland on Saturday. We'll see both teams again on Saturday. Malta will be facing Switzerland at 6 o'clock. And just before Scotland will duel Gibraltar at 3 o'clock. Make sure to be back, make sure to subscribe to us. We'll be showing you all those three remaining games in this tournament. And of course, if you like Swiss futsal, we'll show you the playoffs in the Swiss futsal Premier League starting in May. So be with us, subscribe here on YouTube and also on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, on SoundCloud and on Spotify. That was it from now. We'll be back in just an hour with the pre-game analysis of Switzerland against Scotland and then with the live match as well. So be sure to be back in an hour and have a great time. In the meanwhile, we'll be back latest on on Saturday with Malta against Scotland and against Switzerland and Scotland against Gibraltar on Saturday. See you in an hour.